Hi everyone, let's solve the very first question from today's weekly contest that is faulty keyboard. So in this question, uh, it is being told that your laptop keyboard is faulty and whenever you type a character I on it, it reverses the string that you have written. So typing other characters works as expected. So you are given a zero index string S and you type each character of S using your faulty keyboard. You need to return the final string that will be present on your laptop screen, right? So let's understand what the question is saying. So let me take a string here, okay? Let's say I take a string as A, B, C, D, I, A, K, K. All right. So let's say I have this string. So what happens is as soon as you type I, right? So this is your keyboard. So on the, your keyboard, you are typing A. So for A, your string becomes A. Then what you are doing, you are typing B. B is also fine. You are typing C. C is also fine. You are typing D. D is also fine. But, but the I button on your keyboard is faulty. And as soon as you print, uh, as soon as you press this, right? Your whole string that you have entered reverses. Okay. So it becomes D, C, B and A. So this is what happens as soon as you press I and on pressing I, I is not inserted. Instead, the string is reversed. And then whatever characters you are then typing. So then you are typing A. So you will type A here. Then you are typing K. So you will type K here. And then you are typing J. You will type J here. So you can see here that this is what you are going to get for this string. Right, so the intended string, this was the intended string that you wanted to um, have, right? But because your keyboard is faulty, so you are going to get this string, right? So wherever you are typing it, this will be displayed on the screen. So that is what the question is saying. So I need to return the final string that will be present on the laptop screen, right? Let us take another example here. Let us say that I am given A, B, C. I and D, E, F and I and J, K and I and um, let's say um, let's take A, B again. Okay, so let's say this is the string that I am given. Now, when I will be typing it, what should be my output? So please don't do this that you, you know, go and count the number of I's and according to the number of I's, if it's even, then that means the string will not be reversed. So whatever is given to me, I can print that. But if I um, is odd, then, uh, then you just, you know, reverse this string and return that. That is not what you have to do. So here what is happening is as soon as you, you know, press I on your keyboard, whatever string you had, you know, inserted or you had typed, that string gets reversed. For example, in this case, you type A, then B, then C, and then you click I. So that means this will be reversed. So you will get C, B, A. All right. Then uh, you will be here, right? At D. So you'll write D, E, and F. Now again, you can see I is here. That means whatever string you had inserted, it has to be reversed. So what will happen? It will become F, E, T, A, B, C. Then you come at J and K. So J and K you insert and then you come at I again. So as soon as you press I, this has to be reversed. So what will happen? You have to type K, J, C, B, A, D, E, F. This happens when you click I, right? So your string gets reversed then you have a p okay so this is the final string that we are going to get so the catch is as soon as you press i you have to reverse the string now let us see how we are going to solve this question right so it's a pretty easy question all you have to do is you have to traverse this string right you have to traverse the string from uh, the very first character and as soon as you get a character in the string where you get i correct then you have to reverse that string okay so as soon as you reverse, so it will be, uh, it can be done using the reverse function in C++ STL, right? So that is what we are going to use. So let me go ahead and open VS Code here and let's create a new file for faulty. Keyboard. 
dot cpp all right so what i need to do is i need to okay so first of all let me go here and let me grab this function okay let me remove everything inside of it so now i need to complete this function so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make another string as ans okay so in this ans what we'll be doing is we'll be typing characters right we'll be typing characters so if we don't have an i clicked right that means i have to keep adding those characters to my ans string right because those characters are um with those characters i am fine but as soon as i get i i need to reverse that string so what i'll do is i'll be traversing in this string s okay so i'll say int i is equal to zero i less than s dot size and i plus plus what i need to do is as soon as i encounter that some character is equal to i right some character this that is contains is equal to i so whatever i have in my aunt's string I need to reverse it so I can use the reverse function here. So I'll say ans dot begin uh, ans dot end and that is it. Now if the character that I have pressed is not i then what I have to do then I have to add that character to my ans string okay. So then I will simply add that character to my ans string right. So that is all that we need, we need to do and here we will return this ans string right so that is all that we have to do so that is what i did so here you can see and so yeah that is pretty much about the question